you, 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 have, you, have, you, have you answered or not? Are you finished? Not finished. The question that you were asking. Have you answered? Have you finished answering because your question? What I'm trying to look, look. To you what is yeah. necessary? I decide. In my Wait a minute. Question. Hold on now. That's not how it was supposed to be. How can I, it be? No, this no, question is not I, necessary. Wait a minute. I decided it was I necessary to ask. I am making a point that it is, it is necessary or should be for you to also What was my Torah. question? Your, your, your question was how is what Moses ate important? No. Yes, it was your question. What was it again? again? How is how is knowing what Moses ate no. important? No. You that mean, was your question. No, I said, to, to, to say what is the death of Moses? And I said, know Moses ate, listen, listen. That therefore means that it's not required. It's to propose knowledge. Just to reiterate. What I'm trying to tell you that it's not to propose. It's actually necessary. Because if you... If, Can I if correct you on what you said? Say, Can I correct you? If what Moses had to eat... I need to correct you. I need to with correct his relationship you. With God in are you, some way, are you, then it's are you willing to listen? That you learn that. In the same way, is this how? You, is this how we engage in a discussion? One second. When is this how you engage in a discussion? Very well then. However, the main point is, without reading those stories in the Bible... What are you talking about? You I simply said... and you hear what I'm talking about. You miss okay, out... Tell me when you finish. Go ahead. You miss out on the relationship that God had with Moses and lessons that you can take from Moses that are available in the Quran. Right. I, I, I asked you very simply this. What does the death of Prophet Musa salam, has anything to do with my salvation? That is the question I no no that is the question I asked. And in response what you did, you showed me the difference in the accounts or the narratives between the Quran and the Bible. Yes. Now tell me, how is this demonstrating anything of the relevance to my question in terms of how is my salvation depending on knowing the nature of death of Musa al-Islam? Well, in the Islamic belief, I don't think that's necessary. In the Islamic belief. So why do you even why belief. so why do I need to know? You miss out on context. Look, why do I need to know the death and the nature of death of Musa alayhi salam for my salvation? You just said it is not necessary. It's not no, important. No, as a Muslim, you might not find it necessary. However, you miss out on context. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Slow down. Slow down. As when you Muslim, slow down. What's your name? Understand. Why are you so condescending? You told me to slow down. No, yeah. I'm asking too fast. Oh, so slow down, speak like that? Okay, carry on speaking like that. As a Muslim, yeah. knowing how no, slow down. Prophet Musa died yeah. might not help Slower. you very well Slower. in understanding how to get to slow down. in You're too fast. the Islamic context. You're fast. However, slow down. What Slower. You do you miss out on? Slower, my friend. My goodness, how different That's are you? too fast. Come, come, come here, come here. Come no, no, no. Keep the distance no, come, come because here. I don't want my hand to punch I, your hand I, by I, mistake. I, I so slow to... down, slower. Come near, come near. I think I have a hearing problem. Come, come near. No, I don't have a hearing problem. You don't? Okay. You're too fast. That's... Slow down. Okay, come near, come near. Go on, tell come me. Near. Can I come near to you? Will that help? Keep the distance. Okay. My private space. If you violate my private space, you'll be in trouble. Oh, my goodness, sir. Yes. Okay. Right. Now, say it slowly as you were saying. I think you can hear me very well. So listen I can hear you. You can. Yeah. Perfect. Now, slowly. Slowly. Oh, you slowly. I cannot get across the point that quickly in that case. Go on, slowly. I cannot get across the point that quickly in that case. I'm talking uh, slowly. Do it slowly. So, I think so this individual, yes? Hi. Do, you, do you find any sincerity in this guy? No. When somebody requests you to speak slowly, you don't like, you know, look, half times the speed or one quarter of the speed like you do in YouTube. What a joker this guy is. I asked you to slow down means relax. Don't just rush to your argument. My point was, when you say we have to know, we, not Islamically, we, the nature of the death of Musa al-Islam for my own salvation. I want to know how is it important. I didn't mention salvation. I said, I asked you, and you are replying in response. So let me ask you again. Do you believe the Bible is preserved enough for us to make sense of what the reality and the truth was as it's been transmitted? No more well preserved than anything in the Quran is preserved. But I think yes. What is he answering? Yes, yes. So you think the scripture is preserved enough to an extent that 
we can be true about the reality of the information that has been transmitted, right? Sure. Right. The, your earlier scripture of Moses dates to what period? It doesn't say no matter what time they dated. I'm asking you, what period did they date to? Uh, most of the things that were written at that time were written on uh, parchments that wouldn't uh, last until the time. I am not asking you what is written in gold or not. I'm simply asking you how far back when it comes to extant manuscripts, for example, that the writings of Moses go back to. I have no idea. Have a guess. 20 years from now? It would have to be thousands of years ago. Thousands of years. Yeah. How far away is it from the death of Moses and the writing that survives? I have no idea. Guess Most again. Likely. Most likely. Most of the text that would have been written at the time of his death would have survived that long. Are you asking any of that? I want to know roughly, if you didn't know, I can tell you. From the death of Moses, the prophet, peace be upon him, and the surviving writings Again, attributed to Moses. Be that long How long is that? Those writings will probably deteriorate over time, thousands of years. So likely, they'll have to, what you would find would be then um, manuscripts that have been copies of those originals. Yeah, so, so how far are they from the original time frame of Moses and his death compared to the extant manuscripts? One year, two year, 50 years? How far are they from the time of it? But the, the problem is, it is not uh, dictated exactly when he died, so we have no idea when he died. Did I ask you when he died? Well, when you asked me the time of his death. No. You do you believe he wrote? Do you believe he wrote the Torah? I believe the first five books. Good. The first five books was one which was written by the Torah, and the extant manuscripts that we have. How far is the gap? It might be thousands of years as well. So you're okay? Yes. For a thousand years ago, and you believe the transmission hasn't suffered any corruption? Does anything to do with the way that the stories are preserved, are, are presented today, uh, contradict each other, for example? Do you accept? When there's a thousand year gap at least. Not necessarily, because many stories so, are so, 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 we're talking about the Torah. The manuscript of the Torah and the time of death of Moses the prophet upon him be peace is at least 1,000 years old. 1,000 year gap. So I want to know what is the mechanism of guarantee that you have in place to ensure that there was no corruption in between this thousand years? It was to be transmitted by my Levites. Whoever transmitted it, yep. how do you know? And what mechanism was there in place to ensure that there was no corruption of the text? That might be uh, probably more race for, for Levi than myself. But in terms of uh, the Hadith translation. Wait, 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 wait. The, stop, the, stop. The when I say stop, if, if you're, stop if doesn't you're mean talk. Get, if you don't understand what I'm saying, stop. So you have a manuscript. Of, uh, there is no Islamic version of transition of, of scriptures within the Jewish text. Relax. Don't be irritated. We want to establish, we want to establish, how can you be certain? Do you remember what I said? Text. Are you my teacher? Are you my parents? We are having a discussion. If, if you I am your interlocutor. You so listen to what I have to, to say. Have some level of respect for you. You had provided no respect. You showed no respect from the very beginning, did you? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You showed no respect earlier on. You were mocking. You were a mocker earlier on. Have you, unfortunately? So, if I want to correct something that you are saying, or raise a point while you are making a completely different point, I will interject. What's the point I'm making? You are trying to essentially make a point to do with how do we know that in the thousands of years between the death of Moses yeah. and uh, whatever surviving text that we have of the first five books, yeah. how do we know that there isn't some kind of... Uh, um, uh, I guess corruption. The, the Torah version of corruption. The, of the Torah Textual version. corruption. Torah version of the way that Islamic text. Textual has been, corruption. Uh, translated over Not years. Islamic text. No, the Torah and the extant manuscripts. How, how can you be sure there was no textual available. corruption? Do you know the difference between the Samaritan Pentateuch and the Hebrew Pentateuch? No, I don't. But then you're, you're, you're trying to ask me, how do I know there hasn't been uh, corruption in the sense that when you have the Islamic translation... No, I'm not talking about Islamic translation. Because, okay, so you're so, assuming so things are you going to wrongly. Make, so you're going, to make, uh, you're going to make this entire argument without ever referring to the Hadith science, uh, ever. Are you? 
Yeah. Okay, let me tell you something. Are, are you not let going me to tell make any references? Something. Let me the way let me tell you something. Is, my is happy, let me tell you something. Okay, what, what's your ahead, name? What's your name? David. Go ahead. David. My name is Munso. I, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. Right. Yeah. What we are trying to establish is the certainty of a text that we can be sure. This is, by the way, very far away from where I first spoke about. What did you speak about? We're going, uh, we're, uh, what did I study? I studied about preservation of the book. No, no. But is there I, a book on planet Earth which is preserved enough so away. we can be sure about its message? Well, I was making with a general who's no longer here anymore. That was his discussion was about making, him. That wasn't my discussion. That is where you carried on from. No. My discussion, my discussion was. What I started and talking my about. Discussion are you was to do with the are, you, are you are you are you having some discomfort within. having this conversation with me on the issues of preservation of the text? My conversation are you uncomfortable that I was about having it? previously was to do with the fact I'm that not interested there is in the, no context. I am not interested in that gentleman's conversation. That's why I geared it back I, to my conversation. I'm saying I was having a Are you uncomfortable? Are you uncomfortable feeling insecure to have a conversation about preservation of the text? Hmm? Do you see any dis any insecurities or discomfort? Um, I, I I have some suspicion about it. Okay, but do you see any? Hmm? Because as yes. far as I can yes. see, yes. you have been the person who wants yeah. to command respect in these conversations. So for some reason, you feel as though I am. Well, why are you not engaging with it then? This isn't the conversation. So I asked you again. Okay. So you have unfortunately respond to what I've just said. Conversation. Respond to what I've just said. Take me to a completely different conversation. David. This has Why are you feeling so insecure with, with the current what conversation? I was about previously. No. Why are you so insecure? Why feeling so inferior? So why do you feel because so I am not interested in the previous conversation. You, that wasn't my interest anyway. Why are you so perturbed by my initial conversation? Look, I can say everything I, that you're David, saying to me to you David, as well. David, David. And I can sense that this conversation might not be all that fruitful. Do you know why it's not going to be fruitful? Should I tell you why? I believe the issue. Because you're not interested you. in my conversation. No, you are you insecure think, to have, have a conversation with me on the issues of preservation of the text. You want to drive away back to the you conversation you had away. with so the other you individual. Away, it's okay for you to do so. Hmm? However, when well, I was run away. You back to where Who's running away from the preservation yeah, of the text I said discussion? Because you have driven away. From it's what? It's time for you to do so. My initial conversation. David, However, when I it is not funny anymore. You, it's not funny. Conversation, I, I agree. Do you know it's not so funny? I'm not sure why you're quite left. Do you know why it's not funny? However, what I will say is because you're driven from my conversation, I have no reason to then allow you to be driven to this conversation. So if you want to stare back to where I was previously, you can do that. Subhanallah. However, A brother invited me to speak to this gentleman over there. He wanted to talk about the manuscripts and so on. So that was my. Let, oh, let me talk. Wait, let me, wait, 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 wait. I am talking. That is a complete. Stop there. I'm talking. So now, so as, as I was, as I was there, as I was there, he wasn't. Why are you interrupting my conversation? We were having a complete different discussion. Hey, and the David. In the yellow shirt David, I am talking. Have some respect. David, have some respect. To do with, uh, have with some, a, a topic. Have, have some etiquette. You. Uh, not like you, sorry. The guy have some etiquette, David. I am talking. You were someone to speak I am to. talking, David. You were not. You're not a child. I'm not going to say shut so up and listen, David. I'm talking. Incorrect information as to regarding what we were talking about, David. What we were talking about was completely different from manuscript preservation. If that's what he told you, that is not completely correct. But if you insist by knowing that, and you still want to carry on with, with, with your, your tirade, then please carry on. Now, David, if you have the willingness to engage in a discussion which is meaningful, leave aside your slow talking, right? Have a meaningful discussion and, 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 and don't interrupt when I'm talking, right? Uh, and I, you expect the same from me. If you say anything you that keep interrupting again. True, then I, I will interrupt, but carry on. So, I'll, I'll keep an ear so, so my intention was to talk about the manuscript because someone asked me to go and speak to you, but you were busy with another conversation. I let you continue true. to speak, so I came back. So now I've come back again and I, started to talk and initiate the conversation about manuscripts and preservation. Even though you may be talking about bananas and chocolates with the other individuals, I started to... Hey, in wait a hey second. don't interrupt. You said something incorrect Don't now. interrupt. I was not speaking don't interrupt. about bananas and chocolates. I Say said, I said, I was talking distinctly look at this guy. About, no, no, I no, said, do not even if you be were... Honest, be a man of integrity. Don't mention bananas and chocolates. David, mention exactly David, what I was talking about. David, you know Mansour, what you Mansour, you are the size of a child, but you, Mansour... Subhanallah, these people, no wonder, know, right? no wonder. It's okay for Mansour to insult me. You can liken me to uh, a child. David, but I cannot say that Mansour David, is the size of a child. 
That is incorrect for me to say. David, why, why is that man sorry? David, explain to me why you are able sure, sure. To, to make mockeries, but I can do. David, let me tell you something. Do you by any chance have a fragile ego? By me making fun of you, does it upset you? Finish what you're saying. Okay. By me making fun of you, does it upset you? Does it in some way make what you feel What fun insecure? did I make of you right oh, now? Oh wait, I, I. You said I was a child. You no, now, now, now. You said no, 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 no. What did I say now? now? You said. Oh, not I was now. He goes back again. You remember what we said? So, man to have a meaningful man conversation, sword. we have if to stop all of that. He wants to go back. Myself. If you can insult me, Mansour, look, and I can insult you back. Is that fair? Because respect is reciprocal. Remember it what you said, first David? Given David. And then received. David. You agree, Mansour? I agree. Awesome. Great. Right. Carry you remember on. what I said? If we were going to have a meaningful conversation, we should stop talking like slow and right? Didn't we say that? That means anything Man still has hearing problems. Subhanallah. Anything what does that, that mean? Subha I'll tell you what it means. Okay. If you don't interrupt and you learn. I will teach you. you so when that, like, it's like damn. I will teach you if you don't know about it. I will teach you. No problem. I can go with it. Right. 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 Thank you, brother. So so I said, Sorry. instead of doing all of that, thank you. Instead of doing all of that, let's have a meaningful conversation. So when you were talking about this gentleman, I said, even if you were talking, remember what I said? It's all on camera. I never said you were talking about bananas and chocolate. I you, said, you, you don't said interrupt. Exactly those words. Don't interrupt. Mansour, you were the Don't interrupt. Man. You don't said interrupt. Exactly those Let words. me finish. Don't it's interrupt. On camera, and I hope you can rewind it. When you don't interrupt what I'm talking. He said those words. David. If Mansour, you don't interrupt. Lie, Be Mansour, a civilized individual. I am somebody who likes truth. What did I say? So if okay, what you did tell I say? A lie, what did I say? You said you did not mention. Mansour, no, what did I say exactly? If you tell a lie. Hang on. What did I say exactly? In which, in which instance? Now? No. Or when you mention bananas and chocolates? No, no. When I talk about chocolates and bananas, yes. what did I say exactly? So you were mentioning that when I was talking to the, the previous individual, that you had come here to talk about preservation of text, and I was talking about bananas and chocolates. Did like I that. say that? That's exactly what you said. Did I say that? No, that's not what I said. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come in, come in, come in, come in. If you were talking about bananas and chocolates. Thank you. Someone was listening. Kudos to you, brother. Jazakallah khairan. Now, what I said is, even he, can't, can't, can't he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. It's, it's all on camera. I, David. You only need to watch when it's uploaded, okay. right? Very so, well. and you will then realize that okay, perhaps you should have listened a bit more carefully. Like I need to listen carefully too. So what I'm saying is, I said, when you have the conversation, even if you were talking bananas and chocolates, I would drive the conversation back to the preservation and text. That would be my intention of having the conversation on that topic, and that's precisely what I did. I started talking about preservation of a text. So this is my particular choice of theme to talk about because that is what I thought you wanted to have a discussion earlier on. So if you are comfortable, you wait, wait, let me finish. If you are interested in having a conversation on the preservation of the Bible, that's what we are going to now talk about. And I already laid the foundation of where the problem lies in terms of the transmission of the text of the Bible. There is at least a thousand year gap between the author of the text, Moses, according to you, upon him be peace, and the extant manuscript of the Bible, like see the Dead Sea Scrolls the found in the Qumran. Yeah, Dead Sea Scrolls, right? This is the oldest. So there's a thousand year gap. We want to know, as a non-Christian, what mechanism did you have in place that you can be sure and be certain about that there was no textual corruption happening within the thousand year gap? Because normally as time goes by, People can manipulate and change and distort the text, as we have seen in the example of the biblical text. There's a book written by Metzger, Bruce Metzger passed away recently, co-authored by, co by um, Bart Ehrman. It's called The Text of the New Testament, From Corruption right, to Restoration. This is a, a vague memory of title, but it's there. Corruption to restoration of the text. Right? I can give you a picture, I can pull it out exactly the title. So there are books written about showing how the text of the Christian Jewish scripture has been corrupted through omissions, alterations, and additions. So we know that this has happened. I want to Who know... Who said that, Mansour? This is a whole book about showing the corruption. Intentional and otherwise. People, and otherwise. This is the quote. 
But um, and the position I argue for in misquoting Jesus does not actually stand at odds with Professor I'm Mitz. not talking about misquoting Jesus. The essential Christian beliefs are not affected by the textual variants in the manuscript. That's not my argument either. My argument isn't that the New Testament. No, my, my argument isn't. Let me one second. My argument here is not that the major Christian dogma is affected or unaffected. My argument is. There has there been. No books, hang on. Don't look at you boys. My yeah, argument is there are intense. Why is he talking when I'm in, explaining to you? No, tell him to stop when I'm talking as to you. So what I'm saying is there are textual corruption that happened, agreed by those scholars, because there are evidence by the documentary evidence. You can find the manuscript. And, and you can find an album the manuscript, and, and you can and see Bart how they are different. Quote Bart Ehrman and Bruce yeah. I'm not they quoting about Bart Ehrman. For example, that Jesus was crucified. I'm not but talking mass, about crucifixion. Jesus, no, 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 look, look at the problem. No, 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 no. There's a problem here. If you can quote um, Bart Ehrman and Bruce Ehrman, yeah. yeah. may I ask you this question? No, 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 according no, to no, the no, scholars, no, 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 according to Bart Ehrman and Bruce Metzger, do they consider? And it is their position that there has However, been textual corruption of the Bible? They would identify those as textual variants. And that's corrupt, that corrupt, corruption. Variants, you would call corruption. No, no, this is an important point. Yeah. When he says textual variants, Mansour is trying to uh, interpolate that as corruptions. But not also, their variants. Also, Bruce Mansour squared the doctrines with them. Ma Mansour quotes those so two. I'm happy with those that. Two no, 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 no. no. That Jesus was crucified. So, so let's go back. But they believe Jesus was crucified. And Muslims don't so this that. is a book. So if you're going to quote those two, why quote them I'm when on. they go directly? So here is a book that I'm referring to. Yeah, why quote them, quote them in their entirety? The text of the New Testament, yeah. Yeah. its transmission. Yeah, there is no oh, wait, 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 slow down. Wait, wait, slow down. Yeah. Brutz Metzger, this book that he's written is called sure. The Text of the New Testament, yeah. and this is a subheading. Yeah. It's transmission and, right, and corruption, corruption yeah. okay. and restoration. Right. So does he believe the New Testament has, within its transmission, corruption happened? Right. Wait, yeah, so but when he says corruption, thank you very much. Okay, let's continue with David now. Just answer Mansell what he just said then. But what Bruce Metzger actually called qualifies the statement of that uh, front of that book is that none of the core Christian doctrines are affected by whether you call them corruptions or textual variants. It does. Because it the does. Bible, the New Testament does well, not it claim does. Let me give you an example. the Quran. Let me give you an example how it does. Right. There are the three in heaven. That's been identified already uh, in the uh, NIV. Wait a second. A, wait a second. You, you are now going to help me with this, right? Go on. There is a verse in many of the manuscripts of the Bible which says... What is the verse? You know where it is? No, I don't. I you really don't. don't. It's in John one, somewhere. 1 John, John, John. Yeah, let's see verse 5, here, uh, chapter 5, verse 7. Can I say 1 John? 1 John 5, 7. So you know my Bible better than me, so I'll be with you. Well, he, he knows second I know. verse. <laughs> I thought he knows the entire uh, one thing. John, right. Hang on, 1 John. 1 John. 1 John. 5. 1 John 7. 1 John 5. Seven. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Fellas, I'll read it for you. 1 John right 5. 2, 3, King 4, 5, 6. You've got King James. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a King James. Okay, right. And this says 7. There are three that testify the spirit and the water and the blood. And these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. So what have you got for your King James? King James, that's what you said. And bear, see, that isn't in oh, the oh, original. Oh, 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 so wait, very easy. me open like this. Can I borrow this? Right. Here is one. And can I borrow yeah. yours? Right. Yeah. Okay. For there are three that be a record in heaven. I'm more than happy to stand with that. Come on, man. So then, go through it. Don't the, worry. Don't stop. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and the three are one. Yeah. That's and, right. and here we have, there are three... That testify mine, mine is the, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree. This is Do the you, original Greek. Uh, excuse yeah. me, please. Can you not um, talk when I'm talking and then I'll let you talk? Is that fair? That's a good idea. Thank you. Answer. Very good. So now what we have here is one version which King is an English translation, a later interpolation. which is now helping me to make my point. I've, I've so, heard it. so this text is based on manuscripts of certain Bible, which says in the heaven that the three, the Father, 
the word and the Holy Ghost and the three are one. This, brother, please let me make my point. This seems to be indicating that there is the Trinity verse, which talks about the Father and the Word, the whole second member of the Trinity, and the Holy Spirit, and they are one. Exactly the, the verse that we demand from the Christian to say, where is the Trinity in the Bible? So that there is this there. But guess what? That verse that we find here in this... In the King James Can version. I make my point? Thank you. Can I make my point? Do it. This is in a manuscript. This is in a manuscript of the Bible from the Middle Ages. Earliest manuscript, Greek manuscript, is from the 14th century. The earliest manuscripts don't have it. So now some Trinitarian enthusiast being frustrated, not finding a proof text for the Trinity, decided to make one up and added that in the Bible and then started propagating this as a scripture, holy scripture, only to be told by our good friend here that this is a corruption of the scripture. It is, let me finish. Am I allowed to speak, sir? Well, one, only when I finish. That this is a, I, I, I find it this a is a forgery. Man, so this is a forgery that this verse was never hours, in the Bible. He never this verse else. was this not. Are you listening? I think, yeah. In fact, you would say, right. I'm aware so now, of everything so now, you're saying. You right, so now, so now, one second. Don't need to tell me I'm aware of Thank you. So, yeah. does this verse, because it's an. There is no end. Just keep going. Keep no, no, going. I, 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 I want to engage with you. So, does this verse have some kind of theological connotation because of adding that in the Bible? I'll give you the history of it. No, 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 no. Allow me to answer. So, so okay, answer. 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 What is my question? Okay. Is there a theological significance of adding a text of this? Does it have any implication of a doctrine involved? You, you mentioned that the later interpretation was around what date? I said 14th, 15th century. 14th, 15th century. 14th, 15th century. 14, 15 century. By the 14th and 15th centuries, in fact, by 325, the Trinitarian doctrines were already well established. That, that in later interpretation, had absolutely zero effect on the Christian understanding so of the Trinity. Talking about that. So we can forget that for first. And isn't it wonderful that the New Testament, the Christian text, very simply, you go to the earliest, the earliest are generally uh, going to be the truest. So when you go to the original mm. Greek, you're on firm ground. That later interpretation, Interpretation. I'll just reinforce this again. Was, was what do you say about 14th century, something like that? Mm -hmm. We know, and Mansour knows, that the Trinitarian doctrine, as espoused by the Nicene Creed of 325, was already firmly established for over a thousand years. Do you have a text in the Bible? Do you have a text in the Bible that the three are one? What? Show me hey, a text. Sorry, do you agree with what I've just No, no, said? Hear, hear me what I'm saying. No, Will you, you respond? Do you have. I'm, I'm, I'm responding. You're 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 I'm responding to you here. No, no, absolutely not. Remember what you said? You said. You said. The Trinitarian doctrine. Do you find. Do you find a Trinitarian doctrine supported by a verse like this in the Bible? Do you have a verse in the Bible which shows that the three are one? What is Mansour saying? is making an actual point. Do you have a point? Friend, Do you have a text? Hall, my friend, no hall, can I just show you my friend? Yep. My friend I am yep. not interested in, in the Nicene Creed. I am asking oh, oh, you, oh, oh, so where in the one Bible one is, is a text one. which says... Very interesting. Let me answer you. No. Let me answer Can I? You've now gone to a completely uh, new uh, what area. What did I say? What did I say? No, what was my point? What was my point? I'm going to allow you to repeat it. Okay, very good. That's the sign of you know someone who's listening. Thank you. I am saying. Is it connected about, about this? With this no, listen. I am saying. Look, yes, we need to. We need to derive doctrines from Scripture. Do you agree? Sir, sir, sir. No, I don't agree. So where do we derive our doctrines from? I'll explain this. When Jesus Christ ascended into heaven, he didn't command for a word to be a single word to be written down, and he never wrote a word down. What he did was establish his followers in something, an institution, the oldest institution in the world called the church. They took the gospel message to the four corners of the world with no Bibles. Those words were later collated in fragmentary form and later canonized into what we see as the modern New oh, Testament. Mansour. I know that and you know that, Mansour. And I just want to reiterate that in 325, that church that was already conducted, this is pre-canon 325, before uh, Codex Sinaiticus 3, you know, this is, this is before that. So before the Bible was canonized, the Christian church was already espousing the Trinitarian doctrine. So that verse that you gave us, which was a later interpolation, has no effect on the Trinitarian gospel as espoused by the Christian church from its beginning. Okay, let me 
respond. Okay. Let me respond. So what I said, do we need to derive doctrine from the scripture? You said no. Not all of them, no. Oh, no, all of them. Well, okay, fine. Not. So that's fine. Before that's fine. So now, uh, no, hang on. Say, say that again. I'm, I'm listening. Careful in what I say. You made First a statement. Do, do we, we derive... need to derive our doctrines from our sacred scripture? Wait a minute. Those Those doctrines. Doctrines. I'm not just speaking to you, I'm speaking to you. Oh, hell no, man. No, no. You've got the whole three point right now. No. Stay on well, top the, of the, the Nicene Creed is not in the Bible. However, the elements that compose the Nicene Creed are. Okay, so we should be able to find a clear cut scripture to derive doctrines from. Scriptures, like, not one. He said scriptures, plural, elements, plural, elements, elements, right? Yeah. Listen, yeah. Well. listen, then. Exactly. If, 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 if we want to believe oh that God is Stay three in one, that there is a Father, yes. Son and the Holy Spirit, yes. the scripture should elaborate it yes. to be the case. Yes. Guess what? The only elaboration we find is in a forged verse in the Middle Ages. No, so no, where are they? Hang on. Yeah, where true, do we man, find... Man, I've got all the listen, that's listen. not true, okay. man. Let's, so we'll, we'll see. Man, so we'll either see. Either you're oh, lacking so in the are the biblical text? Are, are, are you a liar? What's your speak? Uh, uh, remind me your name Colin, again. Colin. 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 You're a liar, man. Where so are the texts demonstrating to construct the that that, that to listen? No, no. Listen to what I'm saying. Text that elaborates that there are three who are one and they're all the three that are one God. So we need to find a verse or verses. Genesis which elaborates, which yeah. elaborates this doctrine okay. that there are three persons. So, the Father, let me finish, and then you can, three persons. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. So where in the Bible, in its entirety, is this elaborated? Okay, can I answer? Can I answer? Go ahead, Colin. You can leave him, you can leave him. Go ahead. In my Sorry. research, funny, I had a conversation, I think it was EF Dower over there. You can ignore any of that. Let's, let's talk about yes, the evidence no, no. now. And, and a lady was trying to explain the Trinitarian formula. And as a Christian, I accept, as my exploration of conviction for my Christian position, I understand that the foundation of the Christian he cannot, church was purely Jewish. He cannot Jewish, destroy, destroy anybody. Jewish. Yes, they were. And the Jews no. brought with them to the table as he a foundation of my faith anybody. to believe that God is a father and that God is a spirit. And I'll just give you a few he verses. He is failed. In the Jewish Colin, 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 can, yeah, I, can, I, can I, I just... No, 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 Bible verses that show that the Jews believed and called and recognized God as a father. God the Spirit. The first verse we go to is Genesis 1. Now we have the storm and the voice was in darkness and the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hanging on the surface. When the Lord said, my spirit shall strive against you, the Spirit of God has made me. Where can I go from thy spirit? The Jews understood God as father and they understood God as spirit. That's why, and that wasn't Trinitarian. They believed in the one God. Next one over to man. So I'll do the I'll do the second of the three after you want to give me no, 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 any response, Colin. Yeah. This is why it's so important to listen to what people ask you about I what did. to explain. I did. I did listen carefully. I didn't ask you. Let me tell you now what I didn't ask you. Man saw the lion. I did. Before, before man saw carries on. I did not ask you. That the, so man saw said that that addition no, no. that you talked about. Can you? Can you? Huh? Colin. Colin. Sorry. Sorry. Mansour said, Man said, Man said okay. that the addition that you mentioned, the later interpretation. Yes, yes. Uh, um, uh, he said that beyond that, you could not find me any other instance of the, of the Trinity Trinitarian being described. formula. You gave it to him, and then now he's going to sidetrack and claim that actually, when it said that God was there in, in the beginning, that's not actually God or Jesus talking about. This. So essentially, unless Mansour is going to directly tackle every verse just gave him that, sure. that, that that links yeah. to a Trinitarian formula, sure. then he's lying In to you. In fairness though, there are so many or more verses hear that the Christians well. believe Jesus was God, but I'm saving that for the last one. Yes. Please so have a look. Talking, right? Can, it's time it's for me well to speak, right? And contemplate something, right. yeah. and he's lying. So, yeah. So, tell me when you're finished, right? Right. So, notice what I asked and what I didn't ask. Because I'm going to... 
Talk, man. Just talk over if you want to say it. Okay, okay, okay. So please, do not talk either, okay? Is that fine? Yeah. Is that fine, sir? Is that fine? Okay, please don't talk. Thank you. Thank you. So notice, notice what I asked and what I didn't ask. I'm going to remind that. We started by talking about the concept of there are three persons called the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, and this... It's not... Uh, go on, man, so don't be put off, just go drive. I will be put off. And if everyone you say... He, he I know you for how many years? Many years. So, yeah. so let us have a decent conversation. So let me speak while you are course. having... Yeah. listening to what I'm saying. Brother, right. brother, brother, one second, please. Right. He, so, oh, it's, it's Colin, confusing. He came Colin, to visit me Colin, because initially I spoke Colin, is important. Colin, you came to him. He's entitled to still be in the I, conversation. He can be, but I'm speaking, guy. answering to you now. Right. So I asked by demonstrating, giving an example as an illustration of a corruption, and the, this is just a background to tell you exactly what. Right. Thank you, thank you. That corruption happened by adding and forging a Trinitarian verse to demonstrate the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit are one, right? Now, to understand the significance of this corruption, if you say it doesn't matter because it's, it's whatever, I'm saying, look... A thousand years after they believed it, right? Yes. We should find, or we should be able to find, biblical verses which establishes that there are three, and these three are one. Remember? We should be able to find that there are three. The Father, the Word or the Son, and the Holy Spirit, because the Word is the Son. Wait, 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 wait. That's not my key point. My point has been from the very beginning that these three are one. What are these three? Just like, just like the forged verse in 1 John 5, 7, these three are one, it said. So we want to find something similar, because that's what the doctrine is. That's three and not two. The three are not three, but the three are one God. So now, Master, instead, instead of the points that he just raised, address why, them. why are you he interrupting? Is not, he is not Can you tell him to not interrupt? He is because I'm about to. Taking the conversation somewhere else. Address I'm just about the individual to. verse he raised. Address them. You know, I'm more than happy to let Mansour continue because I, okay. I anticipate what he's going to say. Thank you. So now, brothers, and that's fine. Verses. The people I are. Want you to come here. By the way, those who are watching, do not no, punch you on your keyboards and your monitor and yeah. break you them because I, of this irritation no, that you yeah. feel. I want be patient to come and, and continue that conversation, no, listening no, and watching. No. No. Yeah, give me a few minutes, inshallah. Okay. okay. Right. So now, so what I wanted to demonstrate from, brother, please. So Colin needed to demonstrate that there are verses in, the, brother, don't even give him a word. Right. There are verses within the Bible or the New Testament which gives us the demonstration and the doctrine that these three are one. Mm. That's what I was asking for. Where are the verses in the Bible which without any shadow of doubt tells you, because it gives you black and white, that the three, that there are three and the three are one. Instead of doing that, brother, please, look at me. Thank you. Don't even look at your eyes over there. Thank you. He's a so, come on, man. So, look at me. Look at me. So instead of providing verses which says that the three are one, what my good friend Colin did is what I didn't ask. I didn't ask him to provide is the Father of God. And what's the evidence in the Bible where the Father is God? Did I ask him to provide evidence the Holy Spirit is God it's or the Son is God? Are you listening? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me remind you what you didn't hear, what I just perhaps. Oh, God. I am saying, no, no, no. I did not enough ask this. you. This. Colin, Mansour, I answer did not ask you, you to provide me a verse in which the Father is God. Can you ask him to shut up and listen? Can I talk to you? <laughs> Thank you. I understand. No, 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 no. Let me tell you what I demanded, yes. right, or requested rather, kindly from you, Colin. Brother, please, what's wrong with you? But why are you even talking back to him? Subhanallah, this is a test of your patience today. Yes, go ahead. Colin. So, so you're comfortable. Colin, 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 thank you. Colin, my good friend Colin, I did not ask him. Now I'm going to tell you what I didn't ask. I did not ask you, Colin, to provide you with 
to me biblical verses in which the God the Father is identified as God. I did not ask you to provide me biblical verses in which God the Son or the Son or the Word is identified as God in any way, shape or form. Neither did I ask you to provide me verses in the Bible in which the Holy Spirit is identified to be God. Instead, what I asked you is simple. Show me verses in which these three are one God. Okay. Try again. Right, here we go. No, can I, can you Try dive again. In. You dive in. D dive in. A moment. A yeah, moment. Please, please. My brother, come over here, please. Come over here. Oh, no. My brother, you made me a promise. You told me no if Mansour did not address the points Look at me. that my friend here, Colin, raised, you would come here and tell him personally that he doesn't address the points. Come and do it. My brother, yours, in that case, then you're dishonest. You made a promise. Right. Come on, fill it can I, can I, can, can, can you just give me My just brother. a bit of space Come to reply? On, man. Okay, Go okay, ahead. Just prior to, to Mansour's last few minutes that he had, he asked me a previous question where he wanted to see evidence that the Trinitarian formula was found in my scriptures. And that's why he brought out that verse from John, which was a later interpretation. And I think we've squashed that because I then explained to him that the Nicene Creed was over a thousand years old before that verse even entered into that Bible. So that uh, the, the, the King James has no effect on what was already established as the Trinitarian doctrine. Now what I attempted to do was to break down what concepts, what understandings were found in the Nicene Creed. Namely, one God, Father, Son and Spirit. Then I went through to explain to Mansour how the foundation of the Christian church was entirely Jewish. All the apostles were Jewish and they brought to the table their previous understanding of God as Father and Spirit. And that didn't make them Binitarians, they were still very much monotheists. My next thing as a Christian, I need to find evidences in the scriptures where Jesus claims to be God, was accepted as God, and then I need to put them next to the earliest understanding of the New Testament church and see if they collate. So so if the early church fathers had a consensus of opinion on Jesus as God and those verses are in their own scriptures, then I'm convinced that was the authentic position of the Christians at the time. And this is what I've been trying to do with Mansour. So we've got through the first two, which is the Father and the Spirit that came to the table via Judaism. Now if you could just allow me, rather than me give opinion, I want to, I'd rather give you four evidences than half an hour of my opinion. So the next thing I'm going to go to is verses in the Bible where Jesus claims to be God, was accepted by God, and then how he was understood to be God by the church fathers. So we'll first of all go to Jesus' divinity. Can I just say He's this? answering the question I'm that I didn't ask. Question. No, you, I did. You're asking no, I didn't the, ask any no, of that. Mansour, could you just not interrupt, Mansour, please? But why are you please? answering no. a question that I no. said no. I am not asking? Mansour, the people in the camera will they understand would know. whether I'm they would replying know. to a series of questions you've asked What me is my question you're answering? You evidence okay, what is my question you're answering? Trinitarian formula. Colin? And this is what I'm going to... No, no, Mansour, Colin. you've interrupted in my own time. I'm Please sorry. Don't. I apologize. Please. But would what you is allow the question? Me to finish? Would you allow me to I would finish? allow you to finish, but can you remind yes. me what is the question that I asked you? You've asked me twice in various forms mm -hmm. to provide me with evidence from the Christian Bible for the Trinitarian form. No. Yes. No. Let yes. me clarify because you misunderstood. Right. What do so you because, ask me to Because provide? if misunderstood, it's obligatory on me to clarify my as position. Long as you're not hijacking my reply. No, I'm not going to hijack. No. I am is asking you to provide. We're, no, we're nearly there. Is he again? Colin, we're nearly not going to be able to continue the Colin, conversation. Okay. I haven't been allowed to give the fullness of my Oh, no, no. However, that's however that's uh, with all due respect to Mansour, he's no. going to, to give me the same question he asked before, and I'll know whether it was what he asked me. Sure. Please tell me again Thank what you. you want evidence to Thank you, what. Colin. What do you want to know? Because you said I want. You, I'm asking you to provide the Trinitarian formula, which I am not. Okay. So I'm going to now tell you what I wanted you this to provide. Guy is talking in circles. Just listen to the last part. What I have been from the very beginning asking you to provide one thing only, one thing only. which is verses that indicate there are three persons which are one God. Right. My position, first of all, was in the Nicene Creed, it says, I believe in one God. I'm not God. asking you to Nicene Creed. Let me please, Mansour. Man, be quiet, man. Now, 
the Nicene Creed formula He's irritated is, because he can't find any man in order of, of value and in, in order of truth. The first thing is I believe in one God. Every subsequent verse in the Nicene Creed must be understood with that as the primary text and understood as the one God. So when we then break it down to Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we already can see the Christians are saying can I we, believe in okay, one okay, God and these are the three components that we accept as being the one God. Then I've given Mansour two sets of evidences from the Old Testament and I was just about to give the final ones where the Christians who constructed the creed, who formulated the New Testament and with the New Testament church, how they understood Jesus to be God. But I've been attempting to do that and thwarted and I don't want to say that you're being disingenuous or insincere Mansour, but I don't see a lot of profit now because it seems we're playing semantics. But uh, I, value, I value the, the conversation. Okay. Because, because, hang on, hang on. Uh, Colin, no disrespect, no disrespect. I do feel sincerely, I do feel sincerely there is a comprehension issue here. Look, I do feel sincerely there is a comprehension issue or, 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 me not explaining to you. What I didn't ask is providing to me your biblical verses which identified individual members to be God. To be the one God. No, no. Do you, if let multiple me, members let me, are described let me, as the one God, call in, then they can be assumed because to all be either this is coherent or not. Let's hear Look, it. Let's either I am not making myself Mansour clear, or you have a comprehension problem. It's Poor one of these two, right? Skills. Do you agree? It's one of these two. No. Or you're, or you're or using or semantics. No, not semantics. So what I want, you're lying. just just as the verse that we identified to be a forgery, what did this verse say? This there verse are no differences in the core the teaching. Divinity. That this verse. Is the final point. There are no thousand years after the really There are no differences, the differences in the core Colin, doctrine Colin, of Christianity. Colin, it doesn't matter to what be, to be sincere, to allow me to there finish are my no point. Differences. The that, way that verse, that verse, by the first I pointed the out, mm -hmm. which was way. identified by Christian scholarship to be a forgery. By Christian scholarship, of course. Well, but that, is not that, a that verse said this: that there are three that were in heaven. Excuse me, can you let me finish, please? Yeah. No, because you didn't let him finish. Can you let me finish? Well, no. If you want there to there is no yourself, reason. No, no. no. I'm going finish. to make because when he was talking, because he was I think. Waiting. So why is he here? I think. I think, Colin, why? with all due respect. With Why all due respect, you Colin, I think Why? you have a comprehension Why? issue Maybe or, 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 or you don't want to listen to it. Okay, no. So let me, so let me, so, 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 may, so maybe I need to make it clear because Achi, Achi, brother, thank you. If you can't, if you can't be patient, you remember what you told me when thank we first you. Right? Met. Right? Right? My friend, my friend, Colin, Colin, go back to when we met. When right. you said you want to come here and oh, you want right. to bring right. a true um, spirit. Colin, don't ever change. Achi, why are you interrupting this discussion? Just like a friend. Right. Okay, I'll follow you. Okay, I, I need to finish this. It's important to finish this point. Okay, in five minutes, look, my friends are waiting for me, so we need to finish this in five minutes. Right. So now. Now, okay, Colin, this is the last time I'm going to mention what I'm saying. So, so why is he interrupting again? Colin, you're letting him interrupt what I'm trying to explain. Can I, can I, both of you, can I just say something? From what I understand, I walked into a conversation you were both oh, yeah, hanging. Yeah, yeah, hang on. You know what? Anyway. Two, okay. Colin, Colin, Colin. Hashim, uh, All red herrings and straw man is not going to help this conversation. So now, so I'm going to speak to the audience now, Colin. Several times. This conversation. These guys. Thank you. Right. One Dawa member right. to Here. two Christians. Here. I what we establish, what we, what we establish is this. I asked this good friend of ours in Speaker's Corner to provide verses in which the verse says that there are three persons which are one God. I am not asking them to provide individually their God. Because the key point is that the three are one. Every single Christian knows there is no such verse. That is why all this smoke screen, all this runaway, all this red herrings and straw man. Because he knows very well he cannot find a verse in which in the Bible there are three persons which are one God. So as we've established the disingenuity, the hypocrite nature, 
the deliberate misunderstanding of the communication that we are having. He's saying he doesn't understand, but he knows very well. But I am demanding something very specific, which is unable. He is going to fail to provide something like that. Because he's going to be a failure, he is going to go with the root of what? Oh, hello, Steve. Steve. Hello, Steve. Hello, how are you? How are you? You're good? I'm good. Thank you. Right. The discussion, the discussion we are having was simply so for our Christian friends to provide oh a verse from the Bible in which the three persons are one God. Because the only verse they have is a forgery. Do you know someone from Saudi Arabia told me earlier, now I know you're going to ask for the verse and I can't tell you the verse, but apparently there's a verse in the Quran where Allah says, or it is said, if Allah wanted to have a son, he could. Are you aware of that? The word that is used is, it if Allah were to take, like how God, Allah, took Abraham his friend, it's not about begetting, it's not even giving birth, it's by just taking someone so something. Right in the quote. Yeah, but it doesn't mean God having a son, it's just he taking. No, no, no. When I say, say, I'll explain. If I want to take you as a friend, am I giving birth to you? Of can course I, not. So he doesn't say son, it says friend. No, no, no. Can I, can I this taking, yeah. either as a friend or a son, this taking... You can't take a son, can you? You can adopt someone as a son without giving birth? There you go. So that's what it's... So the quote was talking about... The Quran, the Quran is saying, the Quran is exactly. The Quran is saying simply, simply. The Quran is saying, if God were to take someone as his son, he could have done so. But of course, of course, he's not literally producing, begetting, giving birth to a son. So that is the intent of the Quran. But here, our good friend Colin, Colin, we're going to have to go. So now, as I realize, um, I think. Maybe I'm not making it clear. I'm giving you, I'm charitable to you. Maybe. Oh, very it's magnanimous. Not, hang on, hang on. Maybe, maybe it's not the comprehension issue of yourself. Maybe no, I haven't no, made no, it. No, 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 no. Maybe that I haven't made it. Maybe I haven't made it clear to you. Could not stay on but point. A all the audience were listening. All the audience were listening. So remember Somehow, that he's listening to you. all the audience understood what I said. That's all something all fascinating. Okay. No Everyone does. understood, no apart does. from you. Well, quiz them. So maybe, quiz them. maybe quiz the, quiz English, the English I speak, exactly. they understand, Manso, but you yeah. don't. So anyway, Manso, what's I want to come. Part of the conversation, you went from being respectful. Yeah, 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 that wasn't my rant. That wasn't the rant. Everyone understood you didn't. I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you that everyone understood and you don't? Ask yourself. Look, look, Colin, I don't think I wish to want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I do not wish to talk to you anymore because I don't think you are sincere and you are generous. See you later, Colin. That is our final conversation, right? Do not talk to my discussion. I don't want to talk to you.